back to Free 2 9 here. Today we got a special review video. I know I haven't done model train videos in a while, but I figured I'd do some stuff on my new O-Gage layout I'm building. So these are some locomotives I got for Christmas. These are the Golden Memories William Santa Fe F Freeze. It's a AA set. We got the powered unit and the dummy. These things are beautiful. They look, I think they, these look just like their post, the post-war versions of these, and I love them. I've been looking for a post-war Santa Fe in nice condition for a while, but we figured that we go with this option instead. It's, these things are beautiful. They're just gorgeous. Like, they're really shiny. I love the, I love these locomotives. So, we're gonna put them on the track and do a little review of how these run, and, uh, how they, how they work. I'll show you around them a little bit first. As you can see, these look almost identical to the post or Santa Fe's. You almost would think they were. If, if there was no line, if there was a line I'll text in the back, it would look almost identical. I think these look amazing. So, yeah. Well, now let's cut to when we put them on the layout. Now we're at the layout so we can take a look at the locomotives. So as you can see, these are actually numbered after the real line L ones, 2343. So it's got, I which uh, this is the thing that got me about this locomotive. I don't like the way the, the, the horn and stuff sound. And also something is wrong with my speaker on this locomotive. Something with the volume limiter on it. So I'll try to show it somewhere else throughout the run you'll hear it. But if you've ha if you've owned a Williams engine, you'll know it's just the generic sounds. Let me try and get them working right here. There we go. So here's the, the horn. You don't mind at the bell. I'm gonna have this wired wrong. This is the one thing that got me with Williams stuff. I just didn't like how generic their sounds were. I really wish they could have put like a post-war sounding horn in these. Cause these are beautiful looking engines. And that's the only like thing I don't like with these is the sounds, which I want to reprogram the sounds one day, but I don't know how to do that sadly. So, but these are beautiful looking. We'll give a little walk around. Here's the dummy. Dummy's a 2343 as well. It's the underside of them. Get a thumbnail. All right, now we got the thumbnail. So first we're gonna load up some post-war freight and give it a little run with that. Give it, give it a run test and then we'll do some passenger cars. First run test is just, um. A simple lap around the oval. So yeah, we'll do some laps around the oval first. I know this layout doesn't look like a lot yet, but I just built it yet. I guess I started yesterday. test run just pulling the, the dummy which this thing runs very smooth so it, it doesn't have a lot of problems pulling stuff but we're still gonna show it pull some stuff now let's move on to freight so we're back we have a nice little load of um post-war freight and before anyone posts this out i'm aware this is a k-line car but it looks like a post-war car so i use it i don't got that much post-war freight yet so 
I don't have I don't have any normal box cars. I don't have one normal box car. So I decided to use that. Anyways, let's start this baby up. <laughs> As you can see, she pulls it with no problem at all. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, this thing is just running lovely. Wow, this thing is running lovely. Now, it's time for the real challenge. Some passenger cars. It's time cars. for the final test. Some heavy passenger cars. These don't look heavy, but trust me, these are actually pretty heavy. Wow. Pulls these very nicely. impressed with the build quality on this. This locomotive is very nice. I suggest if you can find this on eBay, if you can find one of these on eBay, you should totally get it. Because the, these are, they're hard to come across because William stopped making these about 16 years ago, I think. But you could come across them on trains.com, they'll find them. And these were new in the box, actually, when I got them. So if you can find one of these, I definitely suggest you get a set of these if you like these. Because these run really nicely. And they're built very nice. Anyways guys, tell me in the comments if I, if I should make some more train videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.